שלו שעשינו. So now to sound redundant, I was also at the Girl Scouts preaching ceremony. It means a lot to me and my family. My daughter um, is a gold award winner, and uh, my other daughter chose not to go that path, but she was a Girl Scout. And uh, the scouting program means a lot to a lot of people in this community, and it does, it, it serves as a place for young ladies to really be able to help find their voice so um, and find confidence in themselves to work on projects and do uh, honorable and admirable things for their community and for their co-scouts that are in their, in their group. Um, I too could not miss an opportunity to see Jim Trickett in his blue bow tie, sat in blue bow tie last night. The return of the sports banquet was Fantastic to see all those kids in the room all cheering for each other, all being on different teams, but all being on one team, teams Her Team Harris, is um, fantastic. I want to congratulate the Community Fund for the amazing carnival this year. Uh, also, I want to announce tonight that we're going to be approving new agreements that we that were ratified earlier today. Um, with our uh, Herrick Teachers Association for the non-instructional units. Um, and I also want to announce that we've uh, come up with a new contract also for the custodians, the cleaners, the maintenance staff, the ground crew, the laborers, the AV, computer techs, automotive unit uh, as well. Um, let me just go back. When we talk about the non-instructional non units, that is all the support staff in the classroom or in a nurse's office or in other things that help support our teaching staff to make sure that our kids are getting the best possible ex education in their classrooms and in their buildings and in the community. So I want to congratulate the president, negotiating teams for coming together and being able to put this, um, these two agreements together for us. Dr. Sinanis. Thank you very much. Um, so this one, I've been at all the events. Um, and to the fun, I want to highlight my experience. Uh, one of these that you didn't get to mention is um, it happened during the school day. Which we had our uh, grade four and five um, field day experience, which is a district wide experience. Uh, it's the first time I had the opportunity to be part of that. It was really quite an amazing um, event, really great way for all of our kids together. Um, whether it was perfect to the kids participate in so many different activities like tug of war and um, they did other like sort of races and it was just great. They were it was fantastic and I think Jim Trick uh for helping coordinating our fourth and fifth grade teachers and administrators and assistants. It was, it was a great day. Um, I was also at the athletic awards dinner last night. That was fun to see really to honor our um, student athletes and our coaches who dedicate so much of their time to um, the seasons over the course of the Year and our student athletes are really quite amazing. Um, as Henry pointed out, there were um, there was recently the senior awards night, which also happened to try and induction. Um, but in addition, there have been a number of music concerts over the last uh, few weeks, um, from elementary to middle school to high school. And our student musicians, um, well, every other group of student musicians that was part of it. Um, and that's credit to our teachers and our families for their support outside of the school day as well, developing those skills. Um, also, recently had the senior citizen prom over at um, Center Street with our fifth graders, and I see one of our fifth grade teachers here, uh, Janine, is here. Thank you for being part of organizing that event. I didn't have any chance to be there, uh, but from the pictures and videos that I saw, it was a packed house, and everyone seemed to have a great time. Um, so, we thank you for that. Uh, we had the National Honor Society induction at high school, which was a packed house. We had almost 100. Students being inducted, speak to our kids' commitment to their academic experience. Um, I had the opportunity to visit the English College program, uh, culminating celebration, and I to see some of the writing that our kids have worked on over the last years. I've never seen anything like that. And that's a you know, ninth grade from 12th grade to just hear our kids write with such voice and such vulnerability and such honesty is, is really quite profound. Um, I had a chance to get the Science Research Symposium. I don't know if you really understand that. <laughs> but it is most definitely um, impressive to hear them talk about their research and talk about how passionate they are about their research. And, and several of them are 
Cosmetology, which is here in Barcelona, which is available to you today. Um, and last, well, last but not least, uh, there's also um, at the Mets game this past weekend as our fifth grade is from Syrian Town saying the national anthems, and they sang the Canadian national anthem because we were playing the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, it was great, it was, it sounded fantastic, and so on. We'll see a lot of our families and kids in the stands as well. So it's been a busy um, few weeks and um, just a lot of first time experience for me that are really fun. And, and a clap out with the senior attorneys this week as well. Thank you, Gina. Uh, I got to be a dentist for that, and yeah, it's so great to see our kids, our elementary kids, welcome our high school kids, and our high school kids not wanting to leave their elementary school because they want to visit with their teachers and spend time in the classroom. Thank you for, uh, for bringing that. So it's been a busy few weeks. I'm sorry I don't normally share that much, but there's so much going on at the end of this year, and um, it's, it's such a point of pride for me to watch our kids um, just as they follow the course of the year and be able to celebrate that. So um, thank you, and um, if it's okay with you, then you talk to them. Like we said to you when you were coming here, yeah. this place is like no other. Yeah, it's true, 100%. I agree. You want to answer the yes. your team? Yeah, so uh, you know what? Um, Liz, uh, <laughs> if you want to start, maybe when Dina and Lisa share, they can talk about our, a couple of our new colleagues that are in the audience that we will be appointing. Uh, so this is For sure, one thing is everything that we've done in the last two weeks of the journey has been a packed few weeks, and there will be continue to be another packed few weeks for the end of the school year. One thing that wasn't mentioned was the art show. We were already just oh, yes. So um, we did have a few parts of it, uh, but we also presented um, in the auditorium all the, the art students received recognition for the work that they do. Um, and so you get to see a new show. And we have amazing art teachers that we always have, and we even have a really, really amazing team of art teachers who push kids to think beyond just academic, but also really think about themselves and trying to go around the students. Sports, we've got art, we've got music. It's a, it's a great place to be. So, do you, do you want to go first? Sure. Um, so, it's interesting because we're talking about all the end of the year things, but we are also focusing <laughs> on the new year, so we're very split people right now. But I am very excited to share that tonight's board agenda. The board will be acting on the appointment of a new assistant director for instructional technology and digital innovation and communication. We really believe in very long titles in this session. <laughs> uh, this is Gail Navalito. Uh, she sits. Yeah. Yeah. And we will be working with Chris Carnage, who's also here to support Danielle. Um, and as we know that, Rich Seville is leaving us on June 30th, and Danielle will be joining us on July 10th to pick up the reins on, on moving what we've already done with instructional technology and continue growing it and being innovative with, with what we're doing in the classrooms. And we're really excited to have Danielle join our team and see what she's going to bring with us. So welcome to that. I do, I do want to say, just, just to acknowledge also all the work that Dina puts into with, with her team in the HR office, just in facilitating the process, and Danielle has done it was a number of conversations and a number of interviews, um, and every process is incredibly thoughtful and, and rigorous and intentional every step of the way, um, and none of that would be possible. Uh, Dino, without your leadership and your ability to not only help us understand what we should be looking for in Cambridge, but also to coordinate all of our schedules and trying to make these uh, interviews work. And a special thank you also, um, not only um, does Dino work with us and our colleagues, we have families who work, parents who participate in interviews. That's not always the case in, in different organizations. And Dina is instrumental in um, helping train parents to be active and thoughtful uh, committee members. So thank you very much for that. And Danielle, congratulations and welcome to Harris. As, as, as Jim just reminded me, it is a place like no other. Uh, <laughs> and I can say that now after being here for a year, that is 100% the truth. So thank you. Just sitting here with a bit of a break um, as we welcome new people. Uh, that all of you will be starting right after you uh, experience the carnival. So just wait for a year from now. Um, it's always great to see people's uh, first interaction with the carnival. So you'll be able to bring your children and your families next year. Uh, but I have the pleasure of uh, welcoming two team members to um, the business office and our clerical team. Uh, Ms. Eason Singer, who is taking over for Ms. Singer. And Ms. Samantha Iaboni will be taking over for Catherine Richards. A little tidbit I learned tonight 
and if we keep on, her place is a special place, as we all were commenting on here, is uh, Samantha's husband is a Harvard graduate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did not know that. So, and he was standing next to Mr. Lisa, who was his visit. <laughs>
So I so I can clarify something that was said in that WhatsApp chat. What's app chat? We don't take questions or comments from the people watching from home because there's no way for us to verify that they reside here, that they live here, and that or that they're employees of the district. So right. while we would love to do that, we're not allowed to do that. But uh, during the pandemic, we had even the usually on that was stopped by New York State. That was allowed only during the pandemic by regulation of state state education department. Just so that you know, that's, yeah, that's why we stopped. Yeah. Not everybody knows. Yeah, not everybody knows. And two other things, I know you guys have, some of you are part of the team of. Uh, like food, food options, we have, there is not a lot of options, or they are not happy with the options they have. And especially the vegetarian option, not just there. So, and they said there is a food and nutrition committee, but nothing came out. I'm just saying what they said yes. there. I, I, I have not really to go the details, but I'm not in there. But I want to bring it up, so you guys can continue. Yeah, just so you know, I'm going to join that committee. Okay, thank you. And also, uh, Rex, they said, it's uh, it's mm -hmm. and it's some of the some of the students were they they to catch up and do something for that. Okay, that's all. And also, uh, it has not been working for but uh, I told you by a couple of parents that each student pick up from the middle school. It is the line is so big, and before the pandemic, kids were allowed to go to their parents' car. Now it's not, we can bring that chair up. This was for you to Okay, thank you. And last week, I know uh, uh, I did the uh, email uh, that is Manis regarding the tennis court. Uh, tennis courts, I did some rules that came, some policy that came. But the policy had not been posted there. So we don't know what the new rules are, and that's some very important. We don't know. So could you uh, certify that in more detail? And, uh, uh, and also, uh, I know in, in, in your budget for next year, uh, you are repairing the code, and the other people are not. Uh, um, this will be why. Because I know it was retail about um, eight or ten years ago, for one of the parents responsible. So I just wanted to bring it up by the way of the arms expert. I think I got out of my three minutes. All right. We interrupted you, so it was okay. We, we, we did the extension. Okay. Okay. One last thing I want to also bring, bring it up. I know in uh, India budget, they uh, uh, budget for uh, buses, for leasing uh, the buses, five buses, and for preparing for 2027 EV. Uh, yeah. So I'd like to know what is the whole plan, but I just see the only part. What is the whole project is, how we are getting there, what is our plan? And that move if you have that in place, not uh, like to be part of it and uh, uh, do it with some work for that. Okay, all right. I'll let me get back to you. Thank you for the for the, the, the tennis courts are damaged. They were resurfaced 10 years ago. Yeah. They now to be, need to be resurfaced again. And after a bunch of, uh, a lot of investigation, we have secured someone to repair all six tennis courts. So that work would probably happen over the summer once we go through the bidding process and getting through all that. Um, part of the problem is the excess use that the courts get. That's why the, court, and the courts are locked for safety purposes and to make sure whatever is left right now is preserved for the students before you. I'm going to do that. Right. I will put a sign there. We agree with you. We think that's a smart thing. We should do that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Madeline? Yes, Madam Chief Jack Barrett. 
um, at the risk of beating a dead horse. Is there any consideration in next year's calendar to add on to the calendar like that extra day off if we don't have a snow day? No. <laughs> we used to have a long time ago. Can you think about it? Can we think about it? No, it's like a complete sentence. I was talking about it. Yeah. No, it's a complete sentence. So, no. All right, well, thank you. There are a lot of different state regulations regarding snow days and how they get put in and out of the calendar and the addition of holidays that we've added to the calendar and the state consistently changing testing dates and how and what. It doesn't leave us a lot of room to actually do that. Am I wrong about that? There are certain mandates uh, that we have to follow from the state. We also have contractual provisions that we have to um, consider about. Uh, you know, but the other thing I'll share is that you know, I've been talking to a lot of our kids over the course of the year. Uh, they don't want schools because they love being here so much that um, to build in an extra day that we're not here would probably be really disappointing to our kids. So I think really, you know, uh, there, because their voice is not here. So, um, but next time, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it from the students. But yes, we do have an all kid inside. Um, and certain things that we consider. But, you know, we're not alone in that we, we budget snow days. Um, and you really plan, hopefully, not to use them because there's so much to do over the course of 181 days that that doesn't even feel like it's enough. Not that I'm suggesting we need more, but it's, it's tough. So I appreciate that, though. Um, thank you. Careful with your job. What? Careful with your job. Anybody else? Okay, we're going to move forward. Can someone remove Roman rules? What else? I'll second it. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Congratulations. Second breath thing. So if you want to just act, have to go and get your lessons planned and done, tomorrow, or dry cleaning ready, you can do that real quick. And there's a snack table outside. Lots of snacks. Right, so. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Welcome to the family. Congrats. Welcome back. Okay, can someone move? Uh, no, no, no. Yes, no, I'm sorry. It's not you. Yeah. Uh, we're going to move to the Capital Projects update with Steve Walsh. Yeah. We're going to move out so the people at home can see it. Uh, one thing I will mention on back here, the generators, uh, 
uh, the hands could be here waiting for the generator forever. It sounds like that was the lady because of uh, what I just heard today from Park East Construction is that they've secured over the next two weeks. The rigor will be dropping the unit off. So if you landed at the school's convenience, whenever they work that out. Window projects, um, all the work we did in the parking lot over the last two three summers is still in here. <clears throat> work around the bus loop that coordinated the entire front of the high school is in here, middle school. The fitness center with the original of the river cut from 2022. Um, and that's the project that actually got to be awarded. Uh, where we're at right now is we're just finishing up the uh, auditorium work. Uh, this is the masonry work from last summer that was finishing up over the spring. The spring. The contracts are closing out on that. Pretty match work and water work that had to be done with retooling. Uh, the replacement generator is on its way. And masonry restoration of the community center and shelter Park academy should be starting in about two weeks. As soon as the last bus rolls out, the state will be starting with this. And one remaining project we've got on the books is a window replacement of Shelter Rock Academy. Uh, the complication with that project is that that building is on the historic register. And so there's a secondary submit, submission that had to be made to the Parks Department, the York State Historic Preservation. I've got my initial comments from them, which I'll be to modify what I have to modify to send back to them to say that. So we'll be getting paperwork from the district in the next week or two for signatures, and then that'll be very cool. I just got a little bit of chronology of your um, your auditorium work. What's interesting that you can share with everybody if you'd like to. We've had a rendering in there, we've got the identical construction in place, including our weaver city and that's in there. And we're trying to get the contractors back in at the convenience of the school. If you put back the space, you don't want to give it up anymore. So we're more happy for that. We very really like it. But I've given some before and after. It's not a one. Hold on, let's check. It's the last couple of slides.
The problem is not the traffic circle. The, tra the problem is the parents. I see it every single day. They come out where they're not supposed to. They're dropping kids off where they're not authorized. Kids are darting across. You're slamming on the brakes. It's not. It's not the design. It's we the think the design is great. It's just that maybe there's a modification so we can stop some of the parents doing that illegal U-turn when they drop to try and go out the back but it's or also, come the other way. It's also going around the pond. Yes. I think one of the things that could help is if you had a traffic, like a, a turn arrow on that street going up, what is that, Beverly? What is um, Alberson Parkway or Lydia Court? That, that would help because what happens is the parents pull out, stop all lanes of traffic on Shelter Rock Road, and then they can't make the left because oncoming traffic won't let them go. But the problem is not the traffic circle, it's the parents using it. Uh, I'm going to make you the head cross. I want to do the services. I'm going to get you a, what, like the lion's the chair, chair and the whip. Yeah. And that works. That's I fine. have the best in the whistle. I don't need anything else. Uh, so. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We're going to someone who with uh, A. I'd like to move item A, appointment of district wide school day museum for the 2023 24 school year. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Brian, you want to move B and C, please? So approval of B and C approval of temple hangs in your environment. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Julie, D, please. Sure, I'd like to move D, the affirmation of formula for reserve funds. I'll second, I'll second that. Please say anything you want to say about that or you know, uh, each year uh, at this time we as we head into the next school year, um, the board reaffirms the formulas for establishing our reserves and setting funds aside. Um, the formulas are consistent with last year, so there have been no changes, but it is an opportunity that we revisit uh, the parameters, whether they're by legal uh, requirements or by uh, review with our uh, council or advisors in terms of what is a reasonable amount of So we're following guidelines for what should be in there. Uh, yes, either by law or by what is uh, advice of insurance or fiscal advisors or bond counsel. Um, so mm -hmm. that is uh, how the uh, reform is put together. And then they're actually reviewed as well to make sure that we're complying with those. Uh, at our year end audit, our savings was actually in the last week of May, our external auditors to do initial uh, field work, and then they'll be back in August to do final field work and require that field work to be and there are minimums and maximums we have to have in those reserves, correct? And they're governed by those yes. statutes and policies. Yes. Okay. And that's all disclosed in our annual audit report um, for the community, which is on our website. Okay. Perfect. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Can I want to move E through double A? I'd like to move E through double A. Approval of agreement, contract, settlement agreement. Release amendment approval of TASB seven for actuarial services, express workers' compensation, and employees' liability insurance approval actuarial review of the district's workers' compensation liabilities, appointment of third party administrator and renewal of dental plan rates. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Nancy, AB three K, please. I'd like to move AB three K award of bid. Those these letters of the set agreement and consultants. All second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Brian, uh, Henry, you want to move AL, please? Yes, I'd like to move AL. Approval of trip for high school music students to participate in Festival Disney. It's also upon the recommendation to attend the school and board of education nearby. Approval of trip for high school music students to participate in Festival Disney, Orlando, Florida, Thursday, March 7th. 2024, returning March 10th, 200 students approximately will be attending. And um, I'd like to mention that this is not just the usual Disney trip, they're actually participating in competition. Mm -hmm. they go down this time. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Julie, will you move AM, please? Sure, acceptance of the Nassau County ELC reopening school grant uh, resulted upon the 
recommendation of the superintendent of schools, the Board of Education hereby amends the August 11th, 2022 acceptance of the Nassau County ELC reopening school grant from $150,000 to $160,760.67. And then the further result that the assistant superintendent of business be authorized to sign the grant agreement on behalf of the Board of Ed, effective May 22, 2023. Thank you. You want to raise a note, please? No, NASA County is awarding grant funding to NASA County Schools for establishing COVID 19 mitigation screening and testing programs to support and maintain in person learning. Thank you. I have a second, please. Oh, All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? I just want to mention that obviously on December 5th, so NASA County is giving us that extra money. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, 1A, please. Sure. Acceptance of the Regeneron Science Talent Search School Award. Resolved that upon the recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools, the Board of Education hereby accepts an award in the amount of $6,000 from the Regeneron Science Talent Search Society for Science in Washington, D.C. Note the award of $2,000 per scholar. Parents have three semi finalist awards this school year with a total award of $6,000. Given to the district to be used to further support excellence in science, math, and or engineering education. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you to the three students. Yes. Yeah. 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 Congratulations to them. Bob uh, Henry, you want to move AO, please? Aye, right. Acceptance of donations from Center Street PTA. Resolved upon the recognition of superintendent of schools, the Board of Education hereby accepts a monetary donation. The amount of $5,719.92 from the Central Street PTA, 247 Street Wilson Park, to purchase the following bulletin boards to be hung in the hallway of Center Street to display student artwork. Six four by six foot aluminum frame bulletin boards, two four by eight foot boards, and four four by ten foot boards. That's a lot of money. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? We want to thank the Center Street PTA for that. Donation. Ryan, you want to move AP, please? Sure. Acceptance of donation from the same time PTA resolved at the final recommendation of the superintendent of schools. The Board of Education DMI accepts the following donation from the same time PTA 106 Beverly Drive, Albertson, New York. Walker space material, games, and a cabinet to store all the games. The donation has an appropriate value of $8,145. The items will be used at Syracuse Elementary School. Awesome. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I want to thank Sierra Town PTA for this. Nancy, you want to move AQ, please? I'd like to move AQ approval to dispose of obsolete social status back to the entirety. Second. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. We're going to move back to questions or comments from the public. The same disclaimer applies. Are there any questions or comments from the public at this time? Seeing none, we're going to move forward. Uh, board members, are there any new business or future agenda items? Seeing none, our, this is our last business meeting of this fiscal year. Our next be, uh, meeting will be Saturday, July 1st at 10 30 in the morning here at the community center. It will be our reorganizational and regular board meeting. Following that will be August 10th at 6 p.m. here at the Community Center. We'll be setting the tax levy. August 24th at 6 p.m. again here. We'll, the board will be doing its annual building tour on August 28th at 4.30 in the afternoon. Our meetings in September are September 7th and September 21st. Can I have a motion to adjourn and go to executive session, please? I make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you and good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.